In 2009, when Rosalind Rangai was only 12 years old, she was shot in the leg one evening after school. Though it was a frightening experience, at that time, she, in the presence of her mother, spoke to our cameras about what happened. When me and my friend was walking yesterday evening, a boy just fly past me and then after a little while, I see an exam behind and I see he hollered a gun and he just start to shoot it at the next one and my foot start to burn me and when I look at it, it was bleeding. Fast forward over a decade later, she was shot again in the same leg, right below the original injury, as she was at the basketball court on Mackenzie Street, again in the Lekai area. This time, she spoke to us off camera. Actually, we just made a sit down on the bleachers, me, my sister, my sister, they watch my baby play basketball, and then I just see our knives, they call like underneath the bleachers in a dark. And by the time I spin around, we see two person approach, but under my dark, we call me say we're about a two person run call. So right away we start here, shot start bus and we start to run, but by the time I try run, I fall down. And then I notice I get shot in my foot, but only person had a base on my baby because my baby is out there, he only three years old. And I had a scream for him, the holler with my baby, with my baby, I get shot. And my sister tried to help me, but she couldn't lift me because like, I get heavy, 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 and then she gone look for my baby, and then that's my sister like, come and lift me up, and then try to get me in the arm. My cousin van, and so we ended up going to the hospital. Can you think of any reason why any of you might have been targeted? Well, I know, uh, well, I know when nobody want to target me, so I, I know, I don't know, I don't know. We must have just stayed at the wrong place at the wrong time, you know. Mm -hmm. So we just run, we run for we life. To be honest, the, when I when my foot started to burn me, right away I can just that I get shot in my foot because that the same experience when it don't happen to me already. So I just you know I couldn't move and I just say hello for make Nico help me because I make care run again or walk. I never all that you know free or afraid to because I know that I'm on my foot because if I get shot in my back or anything like how we made it, you know sit on the bleachers I mean, will feel the burner you know. In my back or in a way that was my foot, I feel it so that then I realized only my foot I get shot. And though it's a very similar experience, she says the pain isn't any easier. Right now, it was there was the pain, in, you know, I can't really stand up on the foot or nothing. I just have to sit up and lift the foot up on a pillow or so. I can't stand up on the foot because it's swell. The whole foot gets swell and then I have to drop or, you know, sit down back because it hurt bad. Mm -hmm. The pain not easy because the bullet just enter the back or come out through the front, you know, by the ankle. So I can't stand up on it. It's rough. Every day I just sit on there two days and like sometimes I get frustrated and I start crying, you know, because it's the pain unbearable sometimes. So I try to stay on the medication. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.